Now to something Arsenal fans that won't want to hear. Joining us now. It's Blaine Byam from the Emirates. OK, OK, welcome to Sky Sports. We're reporting live from North East London. Today we have the Arsenal lads here in North East London. Welcome to the stage, William, William, William. Yourself, yes, yes. Okay. Jesus Christ. You describe your start to life at Arsenal here. Well, it, it's a nice place, you know. Huh? Arsenal, England, it's great. I'm just getting used to it, just getting started. Okay, so how would you describe a relationship between David Luiz and the other Brazilian lads like Gabriel Martinelli, Luiz, and well, yeah. First of all, was my friend David Luiz. He's a real numbskull, you know. <laughs> get red card and all of that but it's part of the game and we have the other lads are fine you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so how would you describe your time at chelsea you know, you know it was a great play at chelsea but you hasn't you haven't performed as how you would expect you know well, well my time at chelsea was great I mean, with some of the great balls you know eden has had but chelsea is in the past now i'm here to make my mark yeah and make a yeah, better future for us you know Okay, that was William. He has zero goals in the Premier League. Let's let's welcome his teammate, David Luiz. David Luiz, introduce yourself. So, David, how would you describe your 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 time at Arsenal so far? It has been a mixed feeling, you know, ups and downs, some terrible mistakes. The fans have been, the fans of the club has been abusing you on social media. How you will respond to them? to the club I have I have been trying my best but I realized that they, I I'm not living up to my expectations. So all I can do now is is train and hope for the best. Okay, okay David. How do you describe your teammate? How do you describe a teammate relationship on a whole both for Brazil and Arsenal? I would say I have a close relationship with my Brazilian buddies. Brazilian buddies. Brazilian buddies. You wanker! <laughs> Final question, how would you feel about finishing in the top four in the Premier League this this season? So we have to make some real changes, starting with the manager, <laughs> just saying. And some of the players, um, you know, we have to do better. Reporting live from Sky Sports Milano, we have Romelu Lukaku from Inter. All right, after the derby, you and Zlatan Ibrahimovic have some these colorful words, you know, Romelu. So how you, how would you describe that? Well, you know, when you're playing a football, a very aggressive sport, you know. We can get, we can get, we can get, <laughs> we can get hurt a lot sometimes. Yeah. Zlatan was just losing, that's why he reacted the way he reacted. You come, care, come against the boss, you know what I'm saying? I understand that you, you and him have been teammates at Manchester United and, and it's shocking to see those 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 words very strong. So next question, uh, I would like to ask you your form with Lotaro Martinez. How would you describe that combination? Well, Lotaro Martinez is a good lad. Well he scored goals because I be assisting him. We're kind of the best goals in Syria. Yeah. yeah. We we are good partners and he's a great goal guy. Next up! Edison Cavani, good job here by Romelu. Let's go. Edison Cavani from Manchester reporting live from Sky Sports. How are you doing, Edison? What is? Introduce yourself, Edison. I am Edison Cavani from Manchester United. Yeah. <laughs> Edison, how would you describe your time here at Manchester United so far? I, I Yeah, I think it's been going pretty well. All right. Okay. But how would you describe your combination play between you and Bruno Fernandes over the last six months? It's been immaculate. Yes, it, 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 it has because as a good player and Bruno as a good player, when you must two play, good players together, all you get is, is magic. It's magic, I understand. So, last question to you here, Edison. How would you describe your time at Manchester United? And 
Yeah, will you go down as a Manchester United legend? Yes, sir. I, I, I think it, I will go down as a legend because how I am playing now, I know that it's not the best I can play, and with more training, I will improve, and I, I will go down as a legend. Okay. Good evening, I'm Martin Tyler, reporting from BT Sports at Manchester, England. Today we have with us Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Hey, 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 hey. Alright Zatan, you've been playing the game for a while now and people have been wondering when you're going to retire. I'm like fine wine, you know? The older I get, the better I get. So, I'm wondering, who is the, the best player you've ever played against in the Premier League? Uh, striker, you mean? Best striker? Yes, the best striker. Uh, yeah, Aguero is good, good all around. Look at who is strong, you know? They don't compare themselves. As I said, they are inferior and they are just foolish. How do you describe your time here in Paris? Ah, Paris, Paris. I know you have a Manchester United shirt, but my time in Paris was was good. I came here like a king. I left here like a legend. You know. Today was a great day with some brilliant interviews. That's it for today. Me here, Sky Sports. Martin Tyler, Jim Beglin, goodbye.